Welcome back to the program. Let's head over to South Africa, where the minister in the presidency, Kosasana Lemini Zuma, has called on young people from BRICS countries to be what the former world statesman Nelson Mandela called a great generation. She was speaking at the BRICS Youth Summit that's currently underway in the country. CGTN's Yuli Sinjamela has more. This youth summit is being held ahead of the 10th BRICS summit in order to ensure the inclusion of young people in the mainstream economies. It's convened under the theme, Radical Economic Transformation, Making the New Development Bank Work for the Youth. This summit will give young people an opportunity to explore long-lasting solutions to end poverty and reduce unemployment rate in the BRICS countries. Delivering an opening address, South Africa's minister in the presidency, Gosazana Lamini Zuma, called on the young people so gathered here that, to be that, counted that, 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 amongst agents of change. Nelson Mandela said that sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. So can you be that great generation? I think that's the question I want to live with you because we want you to be that great generation that history can say that generation was able not only to look at themselves but to look at how to ensure that the world is a better world being that great generation would be a generation that would actually say we were able using the resources, the intellect, the technology to create a better life for all our citizens. This BRICS Youth Summit is being hosted by South Africa's National Youth Development Agency. BRICS Youth was set up in 2013 to ensure that young people's voices are firmly on the BRICS agenda. Delegates here emphasize that at the center of the BRICS countries working together, young people should be key beneficiaries, especially in areas that are often neglected. When we talk about skills revolution, let us make sure that in the rural areas, we build world-class schools. We build schools that will be able to produce graduates that will ensure that the local economy works. We should focus more energy on the expansion and the domestic demand. We should be inclusive in opening up, develop together, inclusive, and achieve win-win results in cooperation. I mean the further enhance BRICS cooperation in global governance, promoting innovation and sustainable development. This summit forms part of activities held in preparation for the 10th BRICS summit, which will be held at the Sentin International Convention Center from the 25th to 27th, July 2018. Once this summit concludes, a BRICS youth ministers meeting will be held at the same venue. Yuri Sanjo Mela for CGTN in Bella Bella, Limpopo province, South Africa. Yulisa also spoke to Dr. Benice Clarala. She's the Director of Youth Development in the Department of Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation in South Africa. She started by asking her about the significance of holding the summit. We would like young people to actually benefit from the BRICS engagement because um, since the establishment of the summit, although we have been meeting as young people of the BRICS country, we have not really um, gotten out um, full benefits, economic benefits for young people. And take into consideration that young people form the majority of the BRICS nation. Um, we want to see them driving um, you know, the economy and actually the development of their own um, countries. You're telling me that you want the youth to be influential in leadership issues, especially in the economic sector. Yet, out of all these BRICS countries, there are no youth leaders. So how do you envisage that they will do this? You know, young people proved uh, in various uh, formats that uh, they can actually uh, play a leadership role if provided with an opportunity and a chance to do so. It is on that basis that uh, we are saying that young people should actually come up um, with key programs where they can actually prove to their respective governments that they can play a leadership role. I understand that the outcomes from this summit, you want to feed them into the leadership summit that is going to take place later this month in Johannesburg. What are those outcomes? One of the hindrances of um, having tangible economy, uh, tangible um, 
achievements for the BRICS Bank is uh, lack of uh, a secretariat to do follow-up on some of the resolutions that have been taken since 2015. So with this um, summit, we would like to, to actually have uh, the BRICS Youth Secretariat established as, a, as an institution that is going to help assist in making follow-ups of what we have achieved in the, in the BRICS uh, country. And then again, we also want to have a youth working group uh, that would actually fit into the business council where young people can actually be represented within the youth development bank so we hope that uh, if there is representation of young people they can actually assist in ensuring that um, resources are actually uh, allocated to be in favor of young people